Hey, what's up, guys? It's Xjaws, and uh, yeah, this is Crash. Um, I'm going to talk about a bunch of things in this video. I just want to point out the first thing is that, uh, yeah, this is a Call of Duty 4 map. This isn't one of the new maps, but I actually uh, have been troubled trying to get a game on those. I only have played for about uh, 30 minutes right now, uh, so, you know, this is, just keep that in mind. This is just, this was my second game, actually. Uh, I probably joined, like, four or five games, and I wasn't too great at uh, bailout or storm or um, I forget what the other one is, but um, I'll talk about uh, this match. Um, talk about uh, my new my new gaming channel. I just uploaded a video for today, and uh, I'll talk about the map pack overall. Um, but first, I want to talk about the match though. I'm using the UMP45 with red dot sight. Uh, my perks are sight of hand, stung power, and ninja pro. Um, I'm uh, gonna be using the kill streak setup five seven nine, and I really enjoy this kill streak setup, especially. Uh, on the new maps when I wasn't trying to go for anything crazy like, you know, a flawless game or use like um, 7, 9, 11 kill streaks. And th this room, the blue room, uh, a lot of you guys know from Call of Duty 4. And I, I want to excuse myself uh, right here. I want to say sorry to the people who have already played Call of Duty 4 for a long time and know everything about this map. But I kind of have to assume that not everybody knows about this map just because a lot of people were introduced to the Call of Duty series at Modern Warfare 2. Uh, so I kind of want to approach it like that, but still I'm going to be giving useful tips for this map. I played uh, too many hours on this map, I'm going to say that for sure. Uh, so I know a lot about the map. Uh, this room right here, the blue room, is pretty good for spawn trapping in Call of Duty 4. And I want to say already you're going to see in this match that the spawns are definitely different from what they were in Call of Duty 4. Uh, I didn't like that too much, but what you're going to do? Um, I, I was pretty uh, decent here at uh, keeping them towards the A spawn for the beginning of the match. Uh, I'm going to be uh, holding it down with my UMP. Um, so, basically, the map, pack, the map pack as a whole, uh, we got five maps. Uh, Overgrown, Crash, Bailout, Storm, and I forget what the last one is. It's not coming to me right now. Um, and basically, it's kind of hard to explain, because um, I know the other thing I need to mention is that um, all my PS3 viewers don't have the maps yet. They don't have them for another month, and I know that really sucks, guys, uh, but you're going to be seeing a lot of this gameplay from the maps, and hopefully going into these uh, games, when you finally get them on April 30th, uh, you'll have a little bit more information than anybody else, and you'll be a little bit more familiar with the maps. Um, so, I forget what I was going to start saying. Um, the, the map pack, oh yeah, the five maps... I already set them. Um, crash, pretty much nothing has changed. The spawn system, I'm pretty sure, has changed. The colors have changed on both Overgrown and Crash. I know a lot of people are wondering about that. Basically, the only thing I've noticed so far is the colors have changed, and they added little details, little pointless details, in my opinion, that didn't really need to be added in. Um, you'll probably see it by watching this match. I'm not going to point out all of them. Um, Overgrown, same deal. They just changed the colors, made it a little bit brighter, and then added some random things in. Um, no, you cannot bounce on um, these maps, just in case you guys were wondering. There's a lot of bounces. Uh, some glitches were taken out, some little spots that you could uh, use. I'm not going to go through all of them because there was a lot of different things you could do. But basically, just keep this in mind. Um, th they didn't just take this map plane uh, change the colors and then put it into Modern Warfare 2. They definitely made a fair amount of adjustments. Um, so yeah, don't don't ask all, all those questions because if you have to ask the question if it's still in the game, it's probably not still in the game. Uh, so Storm, I don't really like Storm. Um, it's kind of hard to me explain. It's kind of hard for me to explain again for all the people who don't have the map. But in the center of the map, there's this little tiny corridor which is like so tempting to run down but it's literally impossible to run down because there's like always somebody camping it depends which side you're on but there's almost always somebody camping and even already i've noticed that people have learned nobody goes down there i mean i, I tried sitting in the building across from this little uh corridor and nobody was coming down it i mean people learn quick when there's a really really obvious um terribly <laughs> terrible terrible spot um so strike is decent it's the smallest of all the maps i believe um and also that means, um, just for Modern Warfare 2 standards, the maps are pretty small. Crash is pretty small for Modern Warfare 2 standards, which a lot of people thought would be affected a lot by Marathon and Lightweight, but I honestly don't think we'll see any direct um, changes. I'm sure, you know, some gameplay and some spawns will change, um, but nothing major. 
And then the other map, Bailout. I really do like Bailout. It's got uh, a lot of stuff out in the open, a lot of um, gunfights that are happening out in the open, and it's also got the inside. Obviously, you guys probably saw trailers for it or other gameplays on it. Uh, Bailout is by far my favorite from the favorite of the new maps, and the map I can't remember the name of. I'm gonna try and find it right now. I got my Xbox right next to me. I don't want to keep saying that map. Um, I want to apologize really quick. Uh, Salvage is the map with the little corridor, not not storm. Every time I said storm already, I meant salvage. So the maps are bailout, crash, overgrown, salvage, and storm. Salvage, uh, correcting myself here, is the smallest map. Storm is a really cool map. It's kind of like, a, I'm not gonna say it's light downpour, but it's got rain in it. So, you know, you got that noise in the background and it's pretty, uh, you know, um, depressing almost and that's the map if you guys saw the trailer with the mannequins in it uh, it's kind of freaky when you come across the mannequins uh, this map is pretty dark but I like it I played some search and destroy on it that's one of the only, that's one of the few games that I played and it was a ton of fun I really did enjoy it I had one of the funniest moments ever um, this guy's probably watching this video and he's gonna laugh this guy comes into my these two guys come into my game they join my game in session and they just yell Everybody start doing the I'm just gonna yell everybody start doing bad X Jaws is in the room if you do bad and he does good We could be on YouTube and it, it was just the funniest thing I'd ever heard and it wasn't like a little kid either It's probably like 15 16 years old and uh, he really wanted to be on YouTube Unfortunately, I think I went like 9 and 2 uh, Wasn't the best game, so that's not gonna be uploaded. Sorry um, So do I think it's worth the 1200 Microsoft points? Yes, um, that was one thing everybody was complaining about. The extra 400 Microsoft points isn't going to kill you guys, and trust me. I mean, think about how much you're playing a game like, that's just, I'm just going to throw out a random game, Madden 10, or, or FIFA 10, or Bioshock 2. How many hours are you going to put into that game, realistically? Maybe a day or two worth of gameplay total? I mean, I have over 10 game, or 10 days played on Modern Warfare 2. I really like this game. I'm a gamer. That's what I do. And I really enjoy this map. I mean, this game. And I think that you're going to get a ton of use out of it. Um, so the game's coming to a close here. Sorry I didn't speak much strategy. I want to mention one other thing that, yeah, I did upload that little promotional video for my, for my, um, for my channel. And I want to say that I pretty much had to do it. I wanted to do it. I wanted to promote my channel. I'm going to be using that channel a lot. Uh, I actually am the only one currently who operates it. But a ton of people are involved in it. Like you uh, probably already saw. Um, and it wouldn't have been fair to ask other people to upload a promotional video. And me not upload it myself. That would have been a real dick move. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to try and upload more videos today. This probably won't be the only video you're seeing from me today. I'm uh, going to try and get some games on Storm, Salvage, and Bailout. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Final score 54 and 7. Uh, see you guys later, and bye.